enjoying a number one record, but all the while you're thinking about the next one. It's not a greed thing, it's just because we all want to be successful. We all want to be part of something great. You got to get back out and prove yourself again and again. It's a lot of personal isolation. Yeah, the reality is I'm doing the same thing today that I was doing 15 years ago to get here. It hasn't changed. I said, okay, now I need to work for a record label. And you just said, now I'm going to manage, or now I'm going to produce, or now I'm going to... You just set your mind to it. You put yourself in the mix where that is and who those people are who do that. You learn and you just start doing it's a weekly, so every week it's something different. We're talking to management, maybe they wanted their person on the cover. It's, you know, you can't please everybody. Um, and inevitably, every week, we are pissing somebody off. <laughs> Popstar sells globally. So you can't be meaning to, to people to buy an album. You're campaigning to be a treat to continue to put the investment in the dollars, even within your own record label, you're campaigning. Because we're all people with opinions. So even before we hear something, we have to want to hear it. And so that's the first hurdle, and that's campaigning. He, he basically asked me what I was going to do with my life. And I was like, you know, straight, I'm just a good DJ here. I got this. And, and uh, he was like, yeah, that's what I mean. If you don't dream bigger, that's all you ever be is the hot DJ here. And he basically told me that he felt I had something to offer to the music um, industry. And that's where my dream started that day. Look, if you're doing what you love, and you're making a living at it, you've, you've won. You've won the game.